the hell is a one-legged dude going on a ladder for? Man, I sure hope his life insurance is up to date. Don't try this at home, kids. Welcome back. Yes, another Slatwall episode. <laughs> so hopefully there won't be maybe one or two left of this. So we're going to continue on. Um, it's a beautiful day here in the northwest suburbs of Chicago today. We're looking at like almost 60 degrees. Can you believe it? Beginning of March, oh, it is great for a Sunday. So, and uh, yep, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this. My nemesis, the slat wall. I'm gonna take this one, it's actually not attached to the top one. We're going to take that one off. I'm gonna run some, I'm gonna drill a hole here and then another hole through the, actually the ceiling too on the top. And with this hole right here behind her, I'm gonna be able to fish some uh, cabling behind, like right here approximately. And then I'll drill that hole when I know exact measurements after the TV is mounted. So um, with some wires ran, Maybe we'll get some shelves up and then uh, see what the next, uh, what's next, right? And then uh, after that, we'll get this garage put back together and see how everything looks and functions. Well, I know that Bear is uh, just staring out into space out here because he's in his element, just watching everything out there. So, yep, he loves having the garage door open. He just sits there and stares at the world passing by. So, let's get going. Okay, so I bust out the ladder. <laughs> I really only feel comfortable maybe going to that third run right about there. Once I get up there a little bit higher, the one leg thing gets very wobbly and I thought I was gonna lose my shit being on there. Been on a ladder before, but this one is, the runs are really, really narrow. And uh, I need to find my other ladder. So I'm gonna use this one to this height um, and then try to find the other A-frame that I have because this, no. <laughs> I, will, I could only go, let me tilt the camera up, to about here. So I think that's about maybe two or three more runs and then that's about it. But then I still have to cut a hole up here and then went up in the ceiling. So yeah, not the best of times. So let's see what I can do with this, this ladder. Um, and plus that's as, as high up as it goes. So it's not a uh, you know, good old six footer, right? So let's see what I can do and go from there. Carry on.
Well, I discovered a little late that uh, using a jigsaw works a lot better than a circular saw. Well, <laughs> I'm a little tired. I think I'm going to take a break. I got a little bit comfortable on the ladder. I didn't think I would. Those runs are really, really thin, and I'm beat. But I'm going to go and take a break because I only have one more to go, actually, but I still need to drill up there into the attic and one hole right there. So, yeah, I'm getting there slowly but efficiently. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to go up to that other run on the ladder, but I wind up saying, you know what, it just the momentum just kept me going. So, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to be back. So, I'm beat and I'll be right back after these short messages. Uh, I feel a little bit refreshed now. Two hour nap, basically just passed out on the couch. But let's, let's finish this up, right? I only have... One more piece up there with the J channel, a couple screws on both ends of the top of the J channel, a couple holes up there, and I think we're gonna be good to go. The holes will be for wire to go up through the attic and one to come straight down. You'll see what's for in a few minutes. Because again, got some little bit of surprises in store for this. So let's get going. I had to rip this whole piece uh, lengthwise and uh, there's a, about an eighth of an inch difference between both ends and uh, it the imperfections within the drywall just drove me nuts. Oh, it's kept on having to trim it and trim it and trim it. Uh, yeah, it was definitely the longest piece to cut during this whole process.
now we get to see how a one-legged man mounts a TV to the wall. Just go ahead and go ahead and box the TV, get the brackets on, and continue forward. This TV is surprisingly really light. It's just awkward, so I just use a ladder to help lean it against it. Just throw it on there, tighten the screws down to secure it, and move it over, center it. Uh, I know that's tilted a little bit to the right. I'll adjust that later because the TV is going to come down again eventually. Installing the shelves and it looks to be uh, some stereo equipment. Well, the lens came off for the receiver, it heats up, so I just cleaned it off. I'm using double-sided tape that's used for smartphones, and I'm going to just put it right back on. I'm really tired of that string for that uh, step ladder going into the attic. I'm just going to tuck it away. I'm done with it. Okay, it is almost done. I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Got the TV mounted. I actually switched it from a 32 to a 40. It was only $20 more, and after I did the measurements with the shelves, I'm like, the 40 was gonna be almost like a perfect fit. As you see, with the shelves on both sides, um, right here, that is a mini system. I've had that stereo since I was 17 years old. Okay, very dated. But this is a Kenwood UD90 system. Back in the day, this system would cost about, it was like $1,200. These are individual components, surround sound. Um, I will give you a better rundown later on it. But man, you know what? This is starting to really come together. Um, I couldn't be happier with the results so far. I decided not to run the wire up into the attic. It, it's just too risky. The ladder stuff, you know, I'm starting to get a lot more comfortable on it. And uh, on the next video, I'll show you actually how I go up and down the ladder from my eyes pointing down. Because I think it'll give you, and direct on, so you guys could get a better understanding pretty much how terrifying it is for a one-legged guy to get on a ladder. So, so now that's the, the little secret right here. And then there's a couple secrets that are going here and then up there. Um, center channel is going to go above the TV. And um, the garage isn't really ready for the surround sound on the other side by the main garage door yet. But eventually it will be. Um, I need a lot more cleanup. This whole garage is a total disaster right now. Um, it's a smart TV, has audio out, and um, you know uh, it's actually got uh, fiber out too, so I can run that right into the stereo, which is great because with these streaming TVs now, it just saves a little bit more wiring. Behind the TV is going to be all ran, the wires are going to be ran back and forth behind the slat wall. That's also why I furred it out as well, to make it a lot easier. Now, I've been making a lot of this stuff up as I go along because Eventually, someday, I will just have to draw things out. Um, you know, so far it's been working for me a little bit, but the gamble will soon um, not work in my favor. So, well, that's it for today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed some of the content. I'm sorry about the camera angle again, that I've been throwing you on a time lapse the whole time. That's not my film style. But again, it's, I need that space back and forth. I cannot, I'm a one man crew. Uh, three quarters of a man crew doing all the camera work and everything else so um, you know I really appreciate you guys tuning in if you could please you know subscribe and give me a thumbs up bear was in the video a little bit but yeah he was enjoying the open garage that's his element so again thanks for watching you know what we'll catch you the next time have a good evening night or watch it during work week I don't really care but uh, we'll hopefully button this up on the next video. Catch you again next time. Thank you.